What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at the reef tanks of Macna. If this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything saltwater tank related. So if you love saltwater tanks like I do, gently press that subscribe button in the face. All right guys, so we have a special Tuesday edition of Mad Hatter's Reef and I'm trying to get through these Macna videos. So we're gonna bump up our upload schedule a little bit. And I hope you enjoy these videos. It's basically just uh, a collection of uncut video from Macna. So enjoy. ORA had a pretty awesome reef that they had together and this actually won the reefs.com uh, award for 2017 and it really was just a absolute beautiful tank. And some big news that came out of Magna this year was Live Aquaria uh, is making their own salt and it's a professional grade salt so definitely looking forward to that and pretty excited to try it out. I'm in between salts right now. I'm currently experimenting with different ones with the tank, but it's something that you want to be uh, slow and steady with just because it can cause issues if you move too fast, just like anything in this hobby. AGE had some amazing tanks on display. Only one of them was filled. And it's kind of a new take on a peninsula tank. It is kind of like an anti-gravity display. And we'll have a shot of it here pretty quick. Absolutely amazing looking tank. And it definitely would be a showstopper uh, in the home. This tank was absolutely beautiful, full of tangs, and it looked like there was some uh, albino strains going on in this tank. I'm not, not exactly sure, uh, but it looked like little Casper wannabes.
The Max Spec tank was a breathtaking tank. And if I was going to say that there was one tank that basically just put all other tanks to shame, it was this one. It had a great mix of corals. It had absolutely beautiful fish, awesome equipment. It was definitely, in my opinion, the best tank at Magna this year. And I got to film this tank probably six or seven times. I got maybe two or three minutes of footage every time that I stopped by it. As the weekend went on, you could kind of see that the Green Star polyps uh, definitely weren't doing too well. But that is to be expected with a tank that has been set up and has only been up and running for a couple of days. But still, absolutely breathtaking. Uh, I definitely would hope that someday that I could have an aquarium that looks something similar to this. Well, it also could be that one of the females, one of the females, when the male dies, one of the females. 
it's kind of a shame to think that this tank is not together anymore. Um, something that I noticed on the last day of Magna is local stores were walking around talking with the vendors and saying what they would buy, how much they kind of going back and forth as to what they would pay for different display tanks out on the floor. thinking lately about setting up a jellyfish tank. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to do it or not, but anytime I see one, it's kind of breathtaking and mesmerizing. This being my first Mac, now it's just really surreal to walk within, you know, a short distance and see just beautiful tank after beautiful tank after beautiful tank. And I really spent almost an entire day just going around and looking at the tanks.
these cowfish that were at the pro aquatic booth were tank raised, but they weren't tank bred. Uh, they were given a bunch of eggs, which were thought to be uh, grouper eggs, and they ended up raising cowfish out of them, a couple of them anyway. Some of them were groupers, but they ended up dying off before they matured. This was Walt Smith's tank and it had some awesome flow and some absolutely beautiful corals. And all of the corals that were in this tank were from Walt Smith's farm. He's doing some great work and he's also put out a video or movie that's titled Saving Coral. So if you get the chance to check that out, I definitely recommend it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Mad Hatter's Reef. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you made it this far, you are awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.